I've been, I've been, I. I've been fighting this. Um, it's been it's been getting tired, and sadly, I, I have I have this. I have unfortunately lost was. I didn't know about this, and I've been spent. I don't I don't know I don't know how to deal with it, especially in in uh, bathroom and prayers and Udu. طيب أشرف. أطالب. Yeah, I got your question, and uh, perhaps. Many of the viewers have heard me tackling this matter repeatedly before, which is whenever the condition is diagnosed as OCD, obsessive compulsive disorder, there's something that no one chooses to have. It's a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, O servants of Allah, if you fall ill, tadawa, seek the remedy. So the clinical diagnosis of diseases physically, such as stomachic, heart problems, hyper or hypotension, etc., requires medical attention. Also, the OCD requires medical attention if it is diagnosed as OCD. So, visiting a psychiatrist in order to get the proper medication and see whether I would stay on the medication for a long term or a short term uh, is really necessary, brothers and sisters. There is nothing wrong with visiting a psychiatrist. If somebody is say, if my son, let me say my son, my wife says, you know, Muhammad, I'm having a stomachic. So I put my hand on the stomach and I start praying for them. And meanwhile, I say, okay, let's book an appointment. So when I say a ruqyah or the dua or the supplication, I do not dismiss the possibility or the need to visit a physician to get treated. Because this is what the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. The medication will be only effective by the love of Allah, by the blessings of He seeking the help of Allah, recitation of supplications, and the ayat of the Quran, whether Surah Al Fatiha or Ayat Al Kursi or the last three chapters of the Quran. So, a combination of both becomes very effective. If it is something only related to being confused in the prayer, forgetting a lot in the prayer, and in making wudu, and it has nothing to do with the rest of your daily activities. Then, we have learned from our Prophet Sallallahu Every time when I make wudu, I'm not sure whether I washed the arm or the foot or I wiped over the hair. It's very simple. I put my phone and I video myself a couple times. Then, guess what? This time, I did not even doubt. Why? Because shaitan knows your recording, so he's not going to uh, confuse you. Because simply you can rerun the video, and you would know that you didn't forget anything. Likewise, in the prayer, a couple times, and you're cool. But I'm only afraid that it is diagnosed as OCD. And this is what it sounds from your complaint. It's not only in the prayers, or how many rakahs. People who go to make wudu, and then shaitan makes them think, oh, how do you know that the toilet seat was not clean? I cleaned it up before I sat. Never mind afterward. The floor, maybe it was soiled with impurities. Have you seen it? No. Then proceed on. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim I prayed somewhere in the mall or in somebody's house. I forgot to ask them whether they have a dog or a sniff there or you don't have to. It appears in front of you as clean. Bismillah, offer the prayer. And you're not blameworthy if there was anything you did not know about. Barakallah fi